Yeah, I'm down here in Alabama with you, Howard. I never done this before. I was curious because pond management is something that is just out of my realm of knowledge. I, I've just never had any experience with it whatsoever. But how old is this pond, and what exactly are you doing here today? Well, this is it's funny. This this pond's about 12 years old. Uh, we've had Southeastern Pond, you know, manage this thing for the existence of it. We've really ramped up our our habitat management, I guess, if you want to throw a, a food plot term in there to, to help you out. But a lake is no different than a than a food source, a food plot. You do the exact same thing. Today we're liming. Uh, to determine if the lake needs lime, we actually measure the total alkalinity in the pond. Total alkalinity is the it's a measure of calcium carbonate content in the in the lake itself. We don't measure pH like you would in a green field or a garden because pH throughout the day in water, with sunlight and temperature, it can go up and down. And you, you can have pH swings and it can give you one reading and then an hour later it could be something different. Alkalinity is a lot more stable. It's actually a buffer for pH. Um, with the, when your alkalinity is low and you need to lime, you're gonna get more benefits than just the fertilizer being able to be used and, and grow that good phytoplankton bloom that you're trying to achieve. Uh, what we're doing, we actually collected a sample of water and we're going to use uh, two different chemicals here to test the alkalinity in it. Um, first, we put in our brome crystal green methyl red indicator. Um, it's just a powder that's going to change the color of the water that's in here. And then we'll apply acid drop by drop until it starts to change color. And the amount of drops we put in is how much, uh, is what the measure of the acidity is. If I can get the dead gum thing open. What was it's that? not kosher. What was that again that he said? Methyl blah 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 blah. It's Brom Cressel Green Methyl Red Indicator. That is quite the mouthful. It is a powder and when we pour it in here it's going to change the water to a little bit of a green color. And we'll put the cap on and swirl this back around. Make sure it all gets mixed. And then we'll start applying all our sulfuric acid drop by drop. until it turns to a pink color. And that's it. And that was four drops, so that is the al alkalinity is 8.4, which means the lake needs to be lined because we need that alkalinity to be 20 or higher. So we're going to apply 50 tons of limestone to this lake today. We're getting the lime that was delivered to us this morning and we're scooping it up and put it on our modified pontoon barge and what these guys will do is they'll actually take the lime up throughout the lake and start spreading it and they've got a big trash pump mounted to the boat and they'll drive and kind of run a grid pattern and spray it off as they're driving. Uh, just like in a field, when you're liming out, when you're liming a lake, you got to try to cover 90% of the pond bottom. You can't put all the lime in one spot and expect it to move. You're actually liming the soil underneath. You're not liming the water itself. Uh, this lime is just plain agriculture lime, same stuff you'd use in your green fields. It's just ground up limestone that we get from the quarries here in Calir, Alabama. Your fish actually have to fight these, these chemical changes when the pH swings. If you have a low alkalinity, your pH swings are way up and way down. And every time they, they have those swings, they have to change their body chemistry and use some of that energy that they've consumed by eating shad or blue eel or crawfish or whatever it may be in the pond. When your alkalinity is a little bit higher, the pH swings aren't near as sharp. They're a little more subtle and they don't have to use as much energy to overcome those chemical changes. Everything starts with having your alkalinity right. If you don't have your alkalinity right, your fertilizer is not going to work. You're not going to be able to grow the food that's available for your fish. And you're not going to be able to have the, the best quality fish that you could have if you were to it, put in the lime and, and kind of amend your water, so to speak, kind of like you would a greenfield, amend in the soils. Um, this is, it, it all goes back to this one simple act of applying agricultural limestone to your lake.
Uh, today we're out here, I don't know how you want me to do it. You're gonna have to edit that. Um, I can get the dead gum thing open. What was it's that? It's not kosher. What was that again that you said? Methyl blah 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 blah. It's brown crystal green methyl red indicator. That is quite the mouthful. Sacred.